everyone. How are you this beautiful day? I'm Karen Jane Casey on the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. And this is every Wednesday we have Sword of the Spirit. And that's a subtopic of the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. As we go out into the world each day, we need to be equipped with the full armor of God. And it's described for us in Ephesians chapter 6. There we find that the sword of the spirit is actually our only defensive weapon against the attacks of our enemy, our adversaries. And what is the sword of the spirit? It is the word of God, God's word. Well, we'll be reading a few passages together here, and I encourage you to continue to read and study the word of God as often as you can. Currently, we're in the book of Psalms. You will often hear read how King David, a man after God's own heart, cries out to the Lord, sings songs of praise, and says intense prayers. Please pull out your Bibles now, and today's read is Psalm 30, Psalm 83 through Psalm 87. In Psalm 83, a prayer for God to go after the ungodly nations and defeat them. Psalm 84 yearning for relationship, to be in his presence for strength and for favor. Psalm 85, a call for restoration, revival, and it speaks of his unfailing love and the promise of peace. In Psalm 86, prayer for mercy towards his servants, for those who trust in the Lord. Psalm 87 is about the Lord's love and the gates of Zion. So I'm going to actually begin reading that in my book, the NIV version. Psalm 83, O God, do not remain silent. Do not turn a deaf ear. Do not stand aloof, O God. See how your enemies growl, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people. They plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a, as a, as a nation, so that Israel's name is remembered no more. With one mind they plot together, they form an alliance against you. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Haganites, the Bilo, Biblos, the Ammon and Amaleks, Philistia and with the people of Tyre, even Assyria that join them to reinforce Lot's descendants. Do to them as you did to Midian, as you did to Sis Sisera and Jablin at the river Kishon who perished at Edor and became like dung on the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zebi, all their princes like Zeba and Zamlin, who said, let us take possession of the pasture lands of God. Make them like tumbleweed, my God, like chafe before the wind, as fire consumes the forest or a flame sets the mountains ablaze. So pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Cover their faces with shame, Lord, so that they will seek your name. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed. May they perish in disgrace. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the most high over all the earth. Psalm 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young, a place near your altar. Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on your shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell on the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold 
from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Psalm 85 You, Lord, showed favor to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sins. You set aside all your wrath and turned from your fierce anger. Restore us again, God our Savior, and put away your displeasure toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger through all generations? Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his, unfaith his faithful servants, but let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Psalm 86 Hear me, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am faithful to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, Lord, for I put my trust in you. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call you. Hear my prayer, Lord. Listen to my cry for mercy. When I am in distress, I call to you because you answer me. Among the gods, there is none like you, Lord. No deeds can compare with yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, Lord. They will bring glory to your name. And you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the depths, from the realm of the dead. Arrogant foes are attacking me, O God. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. They have no regard for you. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Show your strength on behalf of your servant. Save me because I serve you, just as, you, as my mother did. Give me a sign of your goodness, that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Psalm 87 He has founded his city on the holy mountain. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the other dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, city of God. I will record Rahab and Babylon among those who acknowledge me, Philistia too and Tyre along with Cush, and will say, this one was born in Zion. Indeed of Zion it will be said, this one and that one were born in, he in her, and the Most High himself will establish her. The Lord will write on the register of the peoples, this one was born in Zion. As they make music, they will sing, all thy fountains are in you. Well, thank you, Lord. And thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll join me every Wednesday morning for Sword of the Spirit, where we actually read a passage from the Word of God. And always on the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. As you may know, Turn to God with Karen has episodes every Monday morning with topics for um, healing the hurting. And we also have on Fridays, Karen's Book Corner, where I actually um, talk about and read passages from books I've written. I am Karen Jane Casey, author, speaker, podcaster, domestic violence victim ad advocate, and ambassador for Christ. Stay tuned for Karen, Turn to God with Karen, always on um, YouTube, Karen Jane Casey on YouTube, and also audio on buzzsprout.com. Now, you can always go to my website and on the contact page, you can comment 
and I appreciate all your feedback, suggestions, and any comments you may have. That is KarenJaneCasey.com. Well, thank you and God bless.